In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 19, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Astros vs. Tampa Bay Rays The Houston Astros and the Tampa Bay Rays meet Monday in MLB action from Tropicana Field. Houston is coming off a weekend series versus the A's. After winning two of the first three games, in the Sunday finale the Astros put up a nine-run victory. As for the Rays, they played the Rangers in their last set. Tampa split the first pair, then on Sunday in the rubber match the Rays won by two runs. The Astros are 60-25 in their last 85 in Game 1 of a series and 58-27 in their last 85 overall. The under is 3-0-1 in Houston's last four Monday games. Meanwhile, the Rays are 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 in Game 1 of a series and 37-16 in their last 53 at home. Tampa is 23-11 in their last 34 overall. The Rays didn't play well on their road trio, but they have done a great job at home where they have won 8 of their last 10 games. They are playing very well offensively, scoring 18 runs in their last 3 games. Even though Garcia has done a good job on the mound for Houston, he struggled in recent starts, giving up at least 3 runs in 4 of his last 5 starts. He gave up 12 runs in his last 4 road starts and will have a hard time slowing down the Rays in this game. Rasmussen needs a nice bounce-back effort. Though, in his last start, Rasmussen put up four earned on six hits and a walk in four innings during a loss to Toronto. That said, in the two starts prior, Rasmussen had a combined 12 innings with one earned on 10 hits and zero walks. If he can get a nice start in the books over five or six innings, I believe that Tampa will be set up well in the opener. Should be a fun series overall. The Astros are averaging 4.53 runs per game and 4.57 runs per game on the road. They average 2.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Rays. With Tampa Bay giving up 3.30 runs per game at home, the Astros will be held under their average in this game. The Rays are averaging 4.23 runs per game and 4.21 runs per game at home. They averaged 4 runs per game in their last 3 games against the Astros. The Astros and Rays played under the total in 4 of their last 5 meetings. With Houston giving up 3.27 runs per game on the road, the Rays won't score enough runs to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Tigers vs. Baltimore Orioles The Detroit Tigers and the Baltimore Orioles will begin a three-game series in Oriole Park at Camden Yards on Monday evening. Detroit will be sending Southpaw Tyler Alexander to pitch and is coming off a losing effort against the Kansas City Royals where he went five innings and gave up four runs on six hits with a hit by pitch, a walk, and two strikeouts. Baltimore will have righty Tyler Wells on the bump and is coming off a no decision against the Washington Nationals as he threw four innings and allowed two runs on two hits with no walks and four strikeouts. The Tigers are 11-23 in their last 34 road games and 19-44 in their last 63 overall. The Orioles are 6-2 in their last eight Monday games and 2-6 in their last eight home games. The under is 4-1-1 in Tigers' last six overall. The under is 20-9-1 in Orioles' last 30 overall. The Tigers are 5-0 in the last five meetings in Baltimore and 7-0 in the last seven meetings. The Baltimore Orioles are trying to stay in the American league wild card race while the Detroit Tigers are playing spoiler for the remainder of the regular season. Both starting pitchers have been getting hit in their last seven starts as Tyler Alexander is 1-5 with a 6.94 earned run average and a 1.57 WHIP while Tyler Wells is 1-2 with a 5.52 earned run average and a 1.26 WHIP in that same stretch. Drawing free passes will be key to having success as they will get extra bass runners and force extra pitches. In the last 13 games, the Tigers are 
averaging 2.31 walks per game as a team while the Orioles are currently drawing 2.92 walks per game in that same stretch. Tyler Alexander hasn't been good this season, and he's been at his worst on the road, where he has a 7.3 earned run average and .329 allowed batting average. Tyler Wells has been manageable this year, with his 3.93 earned run average and .229 allowed batting average on the year. The Baltimore Orioles simply can't blow games like this if they're going to give that last wild card spot a run for its money. So the Baltimore Orioles to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. These teams do not have deep offensive teams, so they need to figure things out in that department. Neither team has been scoring too well in their previous 13 games as the Tigers are averaging 3.38 runs per game while the Orioles are scoring 3.15 runs per game as well. Both teams have been dominating with their bullpen over the course of the season as Detroit is ninth in the majors with a 3.47 reliever earned run average while Baltimore has a 3.24 bullpen earned run average, which is sixth in the sport. The under is 19-6-1 to in their last 20 six games against one another. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Nationals vs. Atlanta Braves The Washington Nationals play the first of three games on the road at Truist Field Monday against the Atlanta Braves. Washington is last in the National League East and has been eliminated from postseason contention. Atlanta is second in the National League East, just one game behind first place and currently holds the first spot in the National League wildcard race. Washington will have right-hander Corey Abbott while Atlanta will counter with right-hander Kyle Wright. Both the Nationals and Braves are both coming into this series having played other divisions opponents over the weekend. However, that's about where their similarities end. This is a matchup between the worst team in baseball and arguably the second best. The Nats have held that bottom spot virtually all season, while the Braves are looking to win back-to-back -back World Series. Atlanta only has divisional series left for the remainder of the season, which is important as they try and claim the National League East pennant over the Mets. The drastic mismatch of worst versus best continues on a more specific level as well. The Braves are starting Kyle Wright in his 18 wins which is the most in baseball. Meanwhile, the Nats are starting Corey Abbott, who has zero wins to his name. As if Atlanta wasn't already vastly superior in every way, that matchup only amplifies their advantages. Abbott has yet to face the Braves, but he's not a usual starter. Thrusting a young arm that is used to being in the bullpen against one of the deepest lineups in the league is a recipe for disaster. All of that is great news for Wright, as he is on his way to a 20-win season. It likely goes without saying he won both of his starts against the Nats this season. In fact, the Braves have lost just one of his last 14 starts. Given they're still in a heated battle for the division, they won't be taking this game lightly. So the Atlanta Braves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The total has finished under in 10 of Washington's last 13 when playing against a team with a right-handed starter. The total has finished under in 4 of Atlanta's last 5 overall. Atlanta starter Kyle Wright has a respectable 3.18 earned run average and the right-hander has allowed 2 earned runs or less in 5 of the last 6 starts. The total has finished under in 2 of Wright's last 3 starts. This game is all about breaking down how much damage the Braves will do against Abbott in comparison to how well Wright is in shutting down the Nationals. Given Wright's consistency this season, there shouldn't be much scoring on Washington's part, if any. When they faced a dominant pitcher on Sunday in Sandy Alcantara, they were held to just a single run. Their lineup is also a shell of what it was from the last time Wright faced them. That was back when they still had Juan Soto and Josh Bell, and Wright still held them to just two runs in seven innings. It also helps that the Braves have the league's fifth best bull and coming in behind him. Therefore, this is mostly about Atlanta not covering the total themselves. They've proven that hasn't been the case recently, as they too struggled to score much on Sunday in an advantageous matchup against a lefty. They still have a great lineup, but this play is primarily due to the Nationals not contributing enough for a high-scoring game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.